I was driving around my neighborhood as the Heavenly Father led me to do. I was praying in the Spirit, praying in tongues, um, and just letting the Holy Spirit take over. And um, when I get, got to the churches where He wanted me, um, He wanted me to anoint the place, the ground, just as a point of contact. Because there's a place near my neighborhood that there's some churches. So, and then I heard Psalm 100. And then I anointed the place, the ground, and, you know, and this is what it, Psalm 100 said. Make a joyful shout to Jehovah, the Lord. All you lands, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that Jehovah, the Lord, he is God. It is he who made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pastures. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into the courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. For the Lord Jehovah Elohim is good. For his mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. So I just wanted to thank Heavenly Father for everything he has done, for giving his son. I thank Lord Jesus, Yeshua Mashiach, the great high priest, for everything he has done, for giving us his life so that we may live. Um, he did not come here so that we may perish, but so that we may have life and have it abundantly. Um, and I pray that as I finish that, I interceded. I'm going to break and I'm going to have communion and break the bread. The, the grape juice represents the blood of the lamb. And it is the blood of the lamb. And the, um, the bread is the flesh of Yeshua. So I'm going to take this communion as I finished doing what the Heavenly Father told me to do. I drink the blood of Yeshua. And I eat the flesh of Yeshua. So I break bread. The Heavenly Father, as I did as you told me, I believe that that any witchcraft, any stronghold of darkness, altars that were against your name, altars that were against your people, the Jewish people, are destroyed, Heavenly Father, that their power over why I was from Elohim are will be destroyed in the name of Yeshua. As I did it in faith, Heavenly Father, I pray that this prayer, this act and activity, like going around the walls of Jericho, Elohim, it will be the victory is yours. For Yehovah, you said that the battle belongs to the Lord. And Father, fight for these territories, fight for my neighborhood, young and old, Elohim, no matter what nation they're from, no matter what background they're from, Father, all we are all the same in that we need salvation and salvation comes from you alone heavenly father i pray in your mercy draw them all to you let them that they may be healed that they may be delivered i pray that any witchcraft against the churches that have been stayed holy and faithful to you to the leaders their families the members would be destroyed in the name of yeshua that the power of god your presence yova will manifest again through the power of the holy spirit because holy spirit only through you that the anointing will break the yoke and the yokes of physical, spiritual, mental slavery and torment that only you, Yehovah Elohim, can produce. Father God, we thank you. Let it be upon my life, upon the hearers of this video, in the name of Yeshua, Heavenly Father, that they will pray and intercede not only for their neighborhood, for this nation, America, for all the nations, Elohim, that people will repent and be hungry for you, hungry for your presence, that the fire of your presence, Holy Spirit, will be upon the people, upon the people of God, that unlike the days of Moses, where the Jew, the Jewish people, the Israelites, ran away from you for fear, Heavenly Father, you wanted to be near them. You wanted them to know your heart. You wanted to them to have a relationship. You wanted to have a relationship like a father has with his sons and daughters. And that this time, Yova, that your bride will be willing to be delivered, willing to humble themselves, willing to be delivered and made holy so that we would be but in your presence, Heavenly Father, in the name of Yeshua. Father, I pray, Elohim, that the shackles, Father God, of the territory would be destroyed in Yeshua's name, that whatever attack witchcraft attack that my king that you would fight the principality and power that is against the salvation of the people in my territory 
and the people in my neighborhood in the name of Yeshua from whatever institution, Elohim, in your grace and mercy, that my King, you said in your word, and I stand in the truth of your word, that you have made shame every principality and power, that I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Heavenly Father, in your mercy, I pray salvation for my neighborhood. I pray salvation for this hero's neighborhood. In the name of Yeshua, their friends, their family, in your grace and mercy, the anointing, Father God, that draw that draws them to you, my King, that draws them to the Father. For no one comes to the Father except through me, said Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, the Anointed One. Christ means the Anointed One. It's not part of his name. It's a title. It's the Anointed One of God, the Son of God in which he came from. Elohim, the Spirit of Elohim. And Yeshua HaMashiach is part of Elohim, the Spirit of God. In the name of Yeshua, that Yeshua HaMashiach sits at the right hand throne of God, making intercession for the saints in the name of Yeshua. And as you give your life and surrender yourself to the Lord God, Yehovah Elohim, Yeshua HaMashiach will start interceding for you by the power of the blood of the Lamb. And by my King, by the power of the blood, wash us clean from the defilement of the enemy, body, soul, and spirit. Wash us clean from sickness, illnesses, and demonic deposits and, and evil destructions, Father God. Any assignment against us, Heavenly Father, let it be destroyed in the name of Yeshua. That, Father God, any territorial curse, demonic reprisals will be bound in the name of Yeshua. That, Lord God, Father, be our shield, be our buckler, and fight any principality and power against us, for you alone can fight them. You alone can protect us from them. We have no authority over them, but my King, you have all authority over them. And I trust in the one who has had total victory because of the cross. We are more than conquerors through him who loves us. And I do not care, Father. We do not fear any agent of darkness that works with evil principalities and powers that my king in the name of yeshua you send your heavenly angels heavenly angels to protect us heavenly angels my king to guard us in all our ways that as long as we abide in you that we would be safe that we will fulfill the life you want us to live that my great i am you are the one who declares who we are the great i am decides who i am in the name of yeshua i come out of alignment from any false teaching strongholds mental strongholds of principalities and powers that try to brainwash that try to make people think a certain way all the time a that all falsehood father god principalities and powers i come in alignment i come out of alignment in the name of yeshua any soul tied to them i break it in the name of yeshua hamashiach and i pray heavenly father let your anointing be there to deliver in the name of yeshua for heavenly father it is your presence your presence which has the glory, the glory of God, that in that realm, in the realm of faith, nothing is impossible. I pray, Heavenly Father, let us be yielded to you, body, soul, and spirit, a hundred percent, to be one with you, Elohim, to have faith in you in all things, to stand in your in the truth of the Word of God, despite what our situation looks like, despite that it may not look so positive. My Father, you said that you will never leave us or forsake us. Heavenly Father, deliver your bride in every city, in every country, in every district, in every nation, in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach of Nazareth. Heavenly Father, I pray for the churches that have stayed faithful to you, that have stayed holy to you, that did not let any of the false teachings of the world did not let all any perverse teachings of the world infect them heavenly father those churches those leaders who have stayed faithful to you who have not been judged by compromising to your word especially for life and especially the definition of marriage father deliver them father anoint them father anoint your servants anoint your children father god that we may run the race to finish the race to work the harvest in the name of Yeshua. Let there be power, Heavenly Father, your presence here now, the presence in this prayer, Heavenly Father, that you cry out that we pray, not according to our needs, but according to your to your desires, Heavenly Father. Let your will be done in my life. Let your will be done in your children's life. Let your will be done, my Heavenly Father, in every church, that my King, you are the head of the church, not voting, not religious leaders. My King, you are the head of the church 
church. Let your presence return to the churches. Holy Spirit, let your presence return to the churches. That you will be in charge, Holy Spirit, in my life, in every Christian's life, in every person's life. That Holy Ghost, that you are the one who leads the leaders and not the other way around. My Father, I ask forgiveness for the sins of the church, for shutting your presence out, for running away and having a religious dead relationship. But let life return. Let, like you said to Ezekiel, let the dry bones live again. Let my dry bones live again. Resurrect us, my King, with your heavenly power, with the resurrecting life in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. I pray, Heavenly Father, my Holy Ghost, let my dry bones live. Let the dry bones of the leaders of the churches live. Let compromise die in the name of Yeshua. Let compromise die in the church, in the leaders, in the name of Yeshua. No more compromise, my King, in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. In your grace and mercy, Father, I pray this. I pray this, Heavenly Father. Let the kingdom come. Let your kingdom be in me. And let the kingdom of God, let the kingdom of God be upon this earth. Like the, like your glory, let your glory cover the earth as the oceans cover the sea again in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Heavenly Father, fill us. Fill us, Holy Spirit. Fill us more and more of you. Pour out your Holy Spirit, my King, in the name of Yeshua. I ask this in your mercy. Let the hunger for you, let the hunger for righteousness be here again in the name of Yeshua. Any power, Father God, trying to fight us, any demonic power, witchcraft power and curse, let it break now in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. In Jesus' name, I do not use the name of Yeshua. I stand in the name and authority of Yeshua HaMashiach in your grace and mercy and let the ones who are in bondage be set free. In your grace and mercy right now, Heavenly Father, let them be set free in Yeshua's mighty name. In your grace and mercy. Amen. And so, thank you so much for listening to this prayer. And I thank the Holy Spirit um, just for taking over. And I thank you, Holy Ghost. And I pray, let this be glorify Heavenly Father in Yeshua's name. I pray, Father, let there be signs, miracles, and wonders in your church again. In Yeshua's mighty name. In every city, in every country, in every district, every nation, every region, Heavenly Father. That the grips of the power of darkness would be destroyed in the name of Yeshua. In your grace and mercy, send your territorial angels in the name of Yeshua. Send your territorial angels in the name of Yeshua, in your grace and mercy, Heavenly Father. For no weapon formed against your church shall prosper. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, to put on the full armor of God and to stand firm to the rock of ages. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, we thank you, my King. And let there be no shame for the gospel. Let us not be ashamed of you so that you will not be ashamed of us. In the name of Yeshua. Yeshua HaMashiach. Let us preach you boldly. Let us declare your precious name boldly. Let us defend your holy name. Let us defend your word again in the name of Yeshua. Let there be purity, deliverance from this perverse generation in Yeshua's mighty name. Heavenly Father, I thank you. I give you the glory. May this please your heart in the name of Yeshua. And let us be the delight, the apple of the Father's eye in Yeshua's mighty name. There is nothing to be ashamed. There is no shame shame in the love of the Father, the Heavenly Father, who has perfect love, true, genuine, pure, and holy love that is unconditional. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love, Abba. We thank you that the love that you have given us, the spirit of love, for you have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power love and a sound mind. Deliver us from the spirit of fear. Deliver us from tormenting spirits in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Any affliction, Father God, that this person is going through, that we're going through, let it break in the name of Yeshua and let there be deliverance in Zion again in Yeshua's mighty name. And upon Zion there shall be deliverance and the captives of the mighty shall be set free. I pray any illness and this person, Father God, would be healed in the name of Yeshua. Any tumor 
tumor, any lesion, every any cyst, any fibroid would dissolve now into nothingness. In Yeshua's name, dissolve now into nothingness. Any generational curse of infirmity and disease of any kind and cancer, let it be broken now in the name of Yeshua. And I pray, Yehovah, that this cancer would be healed, not by the power of man, but by the power of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, let there be healing. Let there be healing in the name of Yeshua. Let there be healing in the name of Yeshua. In your grace and mercy, in faith, Heavenly Father, it is finished. It is done in Yeshua's mighty name. For if you are a child of God, it, the truth is, no matter the facts that you feel, the symptoms that you feel, the truth of the word of God is, you are healed in the name of Yeshua, physically, spiritually, by the stripes of Yeshua. You are healed in Yeshua's mighty name. We give you the glory, Heavenly Father. We give you the glory, Yehovah of hosts, who is holy, holy, Yehovah Almighty. Holy is his lamb. We give you the glory. I magnify you, Yehovah. Let our soul bless your holy name forever, the one and true God. There is no other God but Yehovah Elohim. There is no other God but Yehovah Elohim, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, in which through King David, Yeshua HaMashiach was born from the line of King David, according to the prophets, in the name of Yeshua, it has been fulfilled. It is fulfilled, and the word of God will be truly fulfilled in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. We thank you, Holy Ghost, and let your presence be here. We thank you, my King, in Yeshua's mighty name. I give you the glory, Father, and let this glorify you, Father God, not for views, not for the exaltation of my name, but the exaltation of the name of God, in the name of Yeshua, the exaltation of Yehovah Elohim, in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. I praise your name, Yehovah. May all the praises, all the glory, and the honor, Father God, be unto you, and let the saints say, Amen. Let the saints hear what the the Spirit says to the churches in the name of Yeshua. Let there be holy churches, holy children, generation and generation, from glory to glory. Let the anointing become stronger in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach to set this world from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. Let your light shine upon us, my King. Let your light shine upon our families, our body, our soul, our spirits, and every aspect of our lives, our work, our homes, our relationships, our finances in the name of Yeshua. Yeshua, let there be deliverance. Help me, help us all come to Zion, because in Zion there is deliverance in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. I glorify you. May the angels, Father God, and everything under heaven and earth worship you and bow down to Yeshua HaMashiach. Every knee shall bow and confess Jesus is Lord to the glory of the Father. Amen.